I just realised what nerves I wooed myself on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, that's me. Um, I'm Ireland's, I must be honest with you guys, um, I'm Ireland's first ever manic depressive bipolar schizophrenic alcoholic comedian, which means most days of me sort of go like this. <laughs> No, you don't. <laughs> Pretty much. That's how uh, these days go with you guys. I've, take, I've taken a break from comedy because most of the guys know when you die in your arse. The last thing I did here, I absolutely died in my arse. You know how bad it was? My wife was in the room and she didn't even fucking laugh. <laughs> I came off stage and she was like, that was awkward. <laughs> so, Thanks very much. But yeah, um, pretty much, not to put any pressure on the guys who aren't laughing, but my sponsor has said that one of the main reasons why I used to drink was people didn't laugh. And my therapist says that if people don't laugh tonight, there is a chance I could go home and, you know. But that's up, that's up to you! That's up to you! And I, fucking hell, man! Jokes about depression are killing! Someone, someone should have told Robin Williams. Fucking hell, man. Yeah, man. If that's not bad enough, I'm also married. Uh, the ladies in the room, I'm not allowed to tell certain stories, but seeing as I'm here, I might have five minutes more to tell this one. So, a couple of years ago, myself and the wife were trying out new things. I believe it's called On Top, just in case later on. <laughs> and uh, there was a moment that started to happen. Now, most women, when you're on top, you're fucking gyrating away and happy out, you're taking the Christian red, and you don't look down at your men. The next time you do, he looks shocked. <laughs> that was me. My missus started to make what can only be described as bestiality, animalistic, pornhub type sounds. Now, as terrified as I was by I was intelligent enough that I knew I wasn't to fucking move. Right? This was going to be the orgasm that was going to define our relationship, our marriage and our kids. Our kids were going to exit the woman and were like, fuck, that was some good orgasm, man. As of yet, it hasn't happened, which shows you how much I fucked up. So, I was very nervous. My wife was, hmm, hmm, yes, hmm, yes. So I decided to throw in a bit of a hand grab. Don't fucking touch them. Oh, 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 oh. oh yes, hmm, yes. And she looked quite erotic from behind closed eyes. She looked awesome. But ladies, you know this moment you're about to explode. I, I've seen him, man. he looks like a decent dude. He looks, he's packed. He looks like it. And her head went down. And she went, Mmm. And I got really nervous. I didn't know what to fucking say. What do you say in a moment like that? Especially when you look like me and are just looking as a woman on top of you that you don't have to fucking rape. And she went, Mmm. And I went, for out of nowhere, I went, I must take you to Guyanese the next time we're in Waterford. <laughs> um, I somehow managed to get her to marry me. Uh, did take another eight years, but uh, marriage is good, guys. It's it's great. Anyone in the room thinking of getting married? Anyone engaged, sir? You can get you engaged, are you? Uh, engaged, not married. Engaged. Engaged. Do it. It's it's absolutely brilliant. Marriage is marriage is awesome. Um, you like having your own money, your own mind? <laughs> then get married. <laughs> it's brilliant. It really is. Um, I want to leave it here because I'm quite nervous tonight. If I wasn't for the crippling panic attack I'm having right now, I'd probably stay in extra couple of minutes. But, you know. <laughs> and uh, that barking dog sort of got me around here. Right so I don't see if I can find that as well. Fuck going, I like getting there first. Um, thanks very much. It's a return to this room. It's been absolutely awesome. And uh, if you want to follow me on Facebook, don't add me because I won't fucking accept your friend request. Thanks very much.